Hey guys, uh, tonight I'm going to show you how to do some light painting with steel wool. If you uh, don't really know what light painting is, it's basically a long exposure shot at night. Um, and you use any form of light, it can be anything, you can use your imagination, uh, and you basically paint a picture onto your camera. But I mean, if you want more information, just go check it out online or watch some videos on what light painting is. I'm just going to show you how to uh, light paint with steel wool. Uh, disclaimer, uh, just be careful if you're trying any of this stuff, anything with uh, that could create a fire. Uh, it's not my fault if you burn the city down or anything like that. Uh, so just be careful, use your head. Uh, don't do it in like forest or dry areas. I mean, it just rained tonight, so I should be good there. Um, so you'll need a couple things. Uh, you can get it all at Walmart. First thing is uh, steel wool. Uh, it costs about three bucks. Um, you can get uh, different like courses or fine or like how coarse and fine it is. Uh, just get anything with a zero on it and you'll be fine. Just don't get the one, two, or three because it's uh, too coarse and uh, it won't work as well. Uh, the next thing you'll need is a wire rope kit. Um, I'm, you could use like string or paracord or something like that. It would probably work, but I mean, for longevity, I'm just going to get like a wire, wire for it uh, so it doesn't like break or whatever. Yeah, and that was about uh, like four or five dollars at Walmart, pretty cheap. And then the next thing you'll need is a whisk. That was like 80 cents. 80 cents at Walmart and another thing I just got is some carabiners uh, just to make it easier to like clip it on and off and also you'll need an ignition uh, source so you can either use uh, 9 volt batteries or you can use like a lighter I mean that stuff's pretty cheap alright so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, fix the wire up If I can open it. Comes with some hardware. Um, I'm not really sure how long to make it. I think I'm gonna go like 10 or 15 feet. I mean, cause you don't have to use all the wire. Um, you can just use like uh, some of it, but it's just better to have extra in case you need, need it. All right, so uh, just take a tape measure and uh, some clippers, wire cutters, whatever. Just cut it off. And I think I'm going to do like uh, 15, 15 feet of wire. It, uh, the kit comes with 30, but I feel like that's a lot, a little bit much. So you just measure it all as you go along. 10 feet, I don't know, maybe 10 feet might be enough. Just snip that off. Ah, my wire cutters are too, too small, too puny. I need some bigger wire cutters. Hmm, where are they? There they are. Paradikes, that's what they call them sometimes. Maybe these will cut it. Yeah, there it goes. All right, so now you're gonna put the loops together on the uh, wire. Wow, this is nice. Uh, tools just keep appearing out of nowhere. It's kind of weird. Let's need some pliers. I'm just gonna use some pliers, push that down. Toss this loop in, and then just tighten these down. All right, just about got it tightened down. Nice and tight so it doesn't come off. That'd actually look pretty sweet if uh, your like steel wool like came off and like went shooting. Like if it was captured on the camera, <laughs> that'd actually look kind of cool. Uh, the next part's pretty simple. You just take a carabiner, just clip it on, and then the whisk, obviously. Just clip it on the carabiner. Alright, the uh, next thing you're going to do is just grab a piece of steel wool. Uh, and I heard it's best just like kind of fluff it up. Or you get more sparks that way. I guess you can always play around with it. St steel wool is cheap. Uh, 
is jam it in the whisk. Aren't gonna use eggs for this. All right, just grab a battery or lighter and it's ready to go. Let's take this outside. Hello, kitty. Probably can't see. Let's take the battery. Get on that steel wool, get it nice and going. Make those sparks fly. That's awesome. All right, guys. Uh, it's always good to find a good spot for light painting. Uh, I like tunnels, like drainage tunnels and stuff. I mean, you can pretty much do it anywhere, but just be cautious with like cops and stuff because it probably looks really shady like if a cop saw you light painting like sparking and shit so yeah just be careful with that and everything and if a cop sees you just run no I'm just kidding don't do that <laughs> but oh man this is gonna be fun yeah there's a little tunnel over here I scoped out a while ago should be pretty sweet it's a bunch of water over here too uh, it was raining earlier so I might be I actually get some sparks like over the water, maybe like before I leave. That'd be really sweet. I'm like going through here. I love the night. Night's my favorite. It's so peaceful and calm. I mean, I'm sure some people are like kind of afraid of the night. I guess I was a little afraid at the night at first, but I love just getting out here, like, walking around. Especially in the summertime. Oh man, it's amazing. Gotta go in through here. It's just like, the temperature's perfect at night. It's not too hot. It can get a little chilly, but usually it's not too bad in the summertime. Oh, what fence? I don't see a fence. Oh, what was that? fence there. At least not anymore. It'd be bad if I stepped on a rattlesnake. But I got a snake bite kit, so it's all good. I just gotta be prepared. There they are. There's the tunnels. Pretty sweet. There's a shitload of graffiti in here too. It's pretty sweet. Pretty rad. As the young folks might say. I'm, I'm pretty young. You can see that. Dragon. Cocaine! LSD! Ooh, you hear that water? It sounds cool. It sounds like a waterfall. Wow, that's graffiti. Smoking a joint. Oh, that's scary as fuck. the end of the tunnel.